All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters identical in age with big differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the challenger, El Presidente. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch gloves, and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, just misses with the kick. Right hand upstairs. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
takedown defense holds up. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Ooh, big shot lands. Way to hide that leg. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Head kick lands. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch. Man. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, man. He could be hit with one of those knees to the body. Knee to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Right hand upstairs. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Ooh, what a punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Beautiful kick. Say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a bottle of that. Liver kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Just misses there with the left. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Man, that was beautiful, man. Yeah, hurt. Should have put him away. He was hurt. He was... All right, here we go with our next round. Shades of Tony Ferguson in the previous round. It's hard to hit a moving target, and he wasn't stationary at all. It's never stationary. His head movement just flows. It's not that he's standing still, head still, and then all of a sudden he moves left or he moves right. It's constantly just bobbing and leaving a little bit. He's like a
like an old school grandfather clock where he's just moving left to right, left to right. It's never stationary, so you never truly can get a feed on where the target is going to be. Look at you dropping a grandfather clock. I'm an old guy. Now. I'm an old guy. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. He's starting to really bruise now. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, big punch land. Now connects with a right. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Nice head kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Oh, both, both landed. Now a knee. Big knee to the body. He got him. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Superman punch! Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed. Allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job. He's attack. doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, what a kick. Beautiful knee. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he might be out. Oh. That big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes on your opponent. And the horn sounds on round two.
right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, that's a good way. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. He blocks the punch. Nice punch, man. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the mid this fight's gonna be over. This. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when he was going to go low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice kick. Right hand upstairs. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the title fighter. But in this instance, it certainly did. Again, they will clinch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Real quick leg kick. Straight punch lands. Right hand, then a left. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Back and forth we go! Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Big body kick. Switch the guard, lands the right hand. What a head kick. Single collar tie now. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to end potentially a critical takedown here. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Just unable to quite find that range. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Good punch, land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Back to the body shots now, that one. Big kick. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just twerk that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's doing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Just missed with the left there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Shot, to the body. Oh, oh. This guy's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Well, no surprises. An elbow! Oh, he might be out. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work like that? Unbelievable. And that's gonna do it! That's it! Oh! Woo! What a performance! 
Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent, and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop in this contest. At four minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the